Hello friends, welcome to TechLake video tutorials. In this video, I'm going to give you brief information about Azure Data Engineering Roadmap. Most of the people will have a common question regarding uh, how to learn Azure and what are the prerequisite and what are the major skill set, where to start, how to start and advanced related. So this video, I'm just giving overview about basics to advanced list of skills, which you need to uh, learn to become an Azure data engineer. So when it comes to uh, like majorly complex uh, scenarios or basics or advanced, whatever it is, the concept wise, if you look at here, I'm going to give you just a concept wise high level technologies wise, which you should know, which you should have idea if you want to become an Azure data engineer. The basic version control tool, like uh, every developer should have basic version control tool. And uh, there are plenty of services are available like GitLab, GitHub, uh, Bitbucket, uh, like this. Start with the GitHub, uh, register GitHub account. And uh, even most of the HRs are asking nowadays, uh, LinkedIn account and uh, GitHub account. Even this document will be available in my GitHub account. I'll show you my GitHub account. So it's free only. It's it's also Microsoft service, Microsoft product. And uh, this is my account, Ravindra TAL and uh, repository you see PySpark Telugu. So I'll be keeping the document here. Okay, I'll share the link in a, a video description. You can go through the video description and you can find the same link. Okay, so if you don't have an account, use a Gmail ID and register here. It's free. You don't need to pay anything. It's free and uh, it's mandatory in future also. So most of the HRs nowadays asking uh, GitHub account, LinkedIn account. Even future you can expect a one website with your name. Okay, so that's maybe future, but as of now only HRs are asking LinkedIn account and GitHub account. So how you are communicating like social uh, communication when it comes to technology part and other things. Okay, now the first one is uh, any git follow the uh, version control any version uh, control uh, have a github document i'll uh, i'll share the document in a video description so go through that and the next one is basic data warehousing concepts so every developer should have a basic data warehousing concepts so i have done list of videos which is available in my channel tech like youtube channel you can go through that data warehousing concepts one separate playlist is available okay then Python, uh, if you want to become a mainly big data combination, Python is a prerequisite, big data combination, because we are going to use the PySpark. So Python is a prerequisite. So I have created a playlist for Python. Even you can go to Google and uh, Python for data engineering. If you search, you will get my playlist, Python for data engineering. If you search Python for data engineering, you'll get this playlist. So around 11 videos are available. Even that video description have mentioned the code to practice. So practice multiple functions are available. So practice those. It will help you a lot. It will help you a lot. So that is for core Python. Even the same video, you can find the link here. You can click on this link. It will be routed there. Core Python, uh, like basic Python. The next one is a SQL. Uh, SQL is a common in every data warehousing project. So most of the on-premises warehouses, like every depends on like SQL Server, SQL, Oracle, SQL, Teradata, SQL, IBM DB2, SQL. So similarly, we are in a cloud. Most of the data engineering, data analytics, data science will be depending on Spark. So Spark also supports, Spark also having a separate uh, uh, SQL module. So start with the Spark SQL. Even I have created separate playlist for Spark SQL. Even you can go to the YouTube and just search Spark SQL for data engineering. Okay, so this is the playlist which I have created Spark SQL for data engineering. You can find here. And these are our every data engineer when it comes to cloud, any cloud, doesn't matter, maybe Azure or Google or AWS, which every data engineer should have idea. Basic version control tool, data warehouse concepts, Core Python, SQL. And most of the people will have a common question. Sir, I don't know many SQLs are available like SQL Server or IBM DB2, Teradata, Oracle. 
So those are our on-premises. So when it comes to cloud, analytics part, analytics part, primarily we are depending on Spark. So Spark supports a SQL, ANSI SQL. If you learn any SQL, even Spark SQL also similar, only little architecture difference will be there. So better to learn directly Spark SQL, it will help you for any data engineering project, any analytics project. Okay, so I have created a playlist for that, go through that. Then main skill set, these all are prerequisite. Any cloud, it doesn't matter, Azure, AWS, Google, prerequisite. Next one is primary skill set, Databricks. So Databricks is a cloud-based hybrid advanced analytics tool, means same Databricks we can use for data engineering, data science, machine learning, and other purpose. And if you want to practice, use the community edition to practice. You don't need to pay any single rupee. Use the community edition. You have um, uh, use a Gmail ID and uh, create account. Even I did uh, multiple videos on this. Even the links are provided in the same here. Go through that. Then Spark. Spark is mainly a distributed uh, processing engine. So Databricks is providing a Spark engine or you can say Spark cluster. So inside Databricks only, you can practice, you can understand Spark cluster. So mainly Spark architecture, if you want to understand, you need to practice RDD, Spice Spark, RDD. So understand Spark features. Spark features mainly for architecture level, cluster level. Okay, that's about Spark. Primarily programming means Spice Spark. Spice Spark is not a separate language. It's a Python library to support, to use, to utilize Spark cluster. So that is a Spice Spark. Okay, Spice Spark is not a separate language. It's a Python only. Spice Spark is a separate library to work with a Spark, okay? So you need to more practice on PySpark. PySpark, when it comes to multiple things are available, RDD data frame, concentrate on data frame, okay? Concentrate on data frame. Then Delta, Delta is one of the file type in Databricks and to support uh, data manipulation operations on top of uh, file system. So even I did a multiple videos on this, even I have provided the link there and uh, even you can Google it are you to bit delta lake just check with my tech lake always when you are searching right just search with my tech lake you see this multiple videos are available okay so delta lake videos tech lake if you search you'll get my videos okay now so delta lake just a one format just a two three sessions are there and understand the architecture that's all. So how it is going to store, how it is going to support a data manipulation language operations, okay, DML operations. Finally, we should have a one cloud storage and one cloud ETL experience a knowledge. So every cloud is having their own data lake, Azure data lake, AWS S3, Google cloud storage or Google file system. So data lake is common, so because we are going to store data in cloud, so data lake is common and the cloud storage plus ETL tool. So every cloud is having their own ETL tool, like uh, uh, Azure is having a data factory, and uh, AWS is having a Glue, and Google is having a data fusion. So depends on cloud. If you are going for Azure, learn, understand data factory. Even if you are using a Databricks, ADF will use for data ingestion purpose. Ingestion means taking data from on-premises, on-premises data, we will migrate to cloud. So that is called ingestion. It may be any cloud ETL. So if you are in Azure, learn Azure Data Factory. Then Azure Data Lake. Even I have data videos and I have provided the link for that. You can find a videos on Data Factory, Data Lake. And next one is additional one, any cloud data warehouse. So, even some openings are there for only for Snowflake and other data warehouses, okay? So Snowflake is one of the cloud uh, data warehouse as a service, data warehouse as a service SaaS product. And uh, Microsoft uh, SQL data warehouse are dedicated SQL pool, Google BigQuery, Amazon Redshift. As I told you, right, a SQL. On-premises is having a Teradata, Oracle, DB2, SQL Server. When it comes to cloud, these are our cloud data warehouses which you can use SQL. But these are our MPP databases, massively parallel processing databases. These are our 
MVP data versus additional knowledge. Okay. And uh, the more openings you can find at Snowflake. And the next one is if you are in Azure, dedicated SQL pool. If you are in Google, Google BigQuery, AWS, Redshift. So these are our skill set which every data engineer should know. Additional also is very important. If you have additional skill set, right? Resume, you'll get more calls. So some people learn only Spark, some people learn only ADF, some people learn both. Some people learn both plus data warehouse, MPP data warehouse, cloud data warehouse. So if you have a, this skill set, right, you'll get a lot of opportunities. Even this year, companies are expecting a more recession, right? Even this time also, cloud, big data combination, you can expect more calls, okay? Only old technology, traditional technology, like traditional ETL tools, traditional databases, old projects, old technology, if you are working, that maybe they'll fire employees, but they are expecting, even in this ration also, you can expect more calls on cloud plus big data combination. So decide and choose and spend some time, you can achieve. So thank you for watching my videos. So if you like this video, please subscribe my channel. See you in another video. All the best. Thank you all.